Video Lecture 4C, Precipitation Reactions. A precipitation reaction occurs when two solutions containing strong electrolytes are mixed together, result resulting in a solid product. This product precipitates or falls out of solution because it is insoluble in water. Therefore, the solubility rules are useful in predicting whether or not a precipitation reaction will occur when mixing two solutions. The following guidelines are useful in predicting precipitation reactions. The first step is to generate a set of possible products. This can be accomplished by swapping the cations and anions of your reactants. This is called a double displacement or metathesis reaction. For example, if I mix a solution containing compound AB with compound CD, I can get the following products. Compound AD is formed by combining cation A with anion D, and compound CD is produced by combining cation C with cation anion B. Once we obtain a set of possible products, we can analyze them using the solubility rules to determine which, if any, of the possible products will be insoluble in water. If one of the possible products is insoluble in water, then a precipitation reaction is predicted to occur. However, if both compounds are soluble in water, no precipitation reaction will occur. Therefore, the mixing of both of these two, solu the two solutions will just result in a larger mixture containing more ions. Here's an example. Which of the following reactions is predicted to occur? For the one that does occur, we will write balanced molecular, complete, and net ionic equations. Let's look at the first reaction. If we mix sodium sulfate together with barium chloride, we, we can obtain two products. To predict these products, let's look at the ions that we can swap. Sodium sulfate contains the sodium ion and the sulfate ion, while barium chloride contains the barium 2 plus ion and the chloride ion. If we swap these cations, we can form the products sodium chloride and barium sulfate. If we look at the solubility rules, we see that all group 1A compounds are predicted to be soluble in water. Therefore, sodium chloride will not form a precipitate upon mixing these solutions. We know from everyday experience that sodium chloride is very soluble in water. However, barium sulfate is predicted to be insoluble in water. This is because when the sulfate ion is combined with the barium 2 plus ion, the resulting compound is predicted to be insoluble. Therefore, we can give barium sulfate a solid phase label. Therefore, the first reaction is predicted to yield a precipitate. Therefore, we expect that the second reaction is predicted not to occur. Let's look, let's see why. Once again, we can exchange the ions to form two possible products, sodium chloride and magnesium sulfate. We know that sodium chloride is predicted to be soluble in water since all group 1A compounds are soluble in water. However, if we look at magnesium sulfate, we see that magnesium the magnesium 2 plus ion does not appear in the exception to the sulfate solubility rule. Therefore, magnesium sulfate is predicted to be soluble in water. We can give it an aqueous phase label. Therefore, the second reaction is not predicted to occur. 
Now that we know that the first reaction will yield a precipitation reaction, we can balance it the, mo uh, the molecular equation and write complete and net ionic equations. To balance the equation, we can place a 2 in front of the sodium chloride. Now our equation is balanced. To write complete and net ionic equations, we need to split all strong electrolytes into their constituent ions. Sodium sulfate can be split into two sodium ions and one sulfate ion for every formula unit. Barium chloride can be split into a barium 2 plus ion and a chloride ion, and two chloride ions. On the product side, two formula units of sodium chloride will produce two sodium ions and two chloride ions. Since barium sulfate is a solid, we do not split it into ions. It will carry over from the molecular equation to the complete ionic equation. To write our net ionic equation, we need to identify the spectator ions. Our spectator ions are the sodium ions and the chloride ions. These reactants can be crossed out and the, and the left over species will can be contained in our net ionic equation. Therefore, our net ionic equation is barium 2 plus plus sulfate yields barium sulfate. Note that in the net ionic equation, the barium ion is written first. This is customary. Usually metals are written first in chemical equations and chemical formulas.